Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of area and perimeter, specifically how the two are related, and you can use one to find the other, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So, we are given the perimeter of a square, and we need to use that to find the area. So let's draw a square here. What do we know about this? Well, we know that to find the area of a square, you need to multiply the side times the side. The area of a rectangle is length times width, but since it's a square, the length and width are the same distance. And then the perimeter of a square, normally it's double the length times double the width, or you can add all four sides, but since they're all the same length, it's going to be side plus side plus side plus side, or four times the side. So the perimeter is 32. So that's going to be 32 centimeters. So let's use this right here. So 32 centimeters is going to equal, since that's the perimeter, four times the side. So think of that as like a fact family. 32 equals four times what? Well, if I were to think of an inverse relationship, I can say, well, 32 divided by four, that's a fact family, is gonna get us that side right there. And most of us know that's a basic fact, and that makes sense. We can think, all right, it's 8, right? So it's 8 all the way around. 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8, that makes 32. Now, my answer is not 8. I'm looking for the area. How do I find the area? The area is, remember, the side times the side. So the area is going to be the side times the side. In this case, it's going to be 8 centimeters times 8 centimeters. So that's going to equal 64, and remember we're dealing with 2 centimeters, and so we multiply them, so it's going to be 64 square centimeters. So we have a rectangle now, and they're looking for the perimeter, but they give us the area, and they also have to give us the length. Because if you just have the area of a rectangle, you still don't know the dimensions, because you can't guarantee that all four sides are the same, like you would in a square. So let's draw a visual to help us out here. That's our rectangle. And let's write what we know about perimeter and area. All right, so area of a rectangle. You can write it two different ways. Uh, length times width. I like to do a capital L just because a lowercase l looks like a 1. Or you can write base times height. Typically, we'll do a capital B, lowercase h. Not sure why. But length times width, base times height. Same thing. One side times the other side, as long as they're the two sides that are different lengths. Now, the perimeter, you can add all four sides, but you can say double the length plus double the width. If you really want to just add them up, it would be length plus length plus width plus width. But as you can see here, right, double the length is this right here. Double the width is this right here. So what do they give us? They're looking for the perimeter. They give us the area. So inside, we've got 48 square meters. So I'm going to write square meters like that with that little exponent, too. That's going to be a little bit more common up in the upper grade. So you've got 48 square meters, and they have to give you one of the measurements. Because 48, it can be you know, a 12 times 4. It could be a 6 times 8. It could be a 24 and 2. It could be a 48 and 1. There's a lot of different ways to get up to 48, even 16 times 3. They give you the length of 4. So let's put that right here. So if the area is 4, then I know that my area, so I'm going to substitute in here, my area is 48 equals the length, that's 4, times my width. Hmm, 4 times what makes 48? Well, we need to know our facts, but we should know that 4 times 12 makes 48, right? 48 divided by 4 makes 12. So that means my width is 12. Once we know that, we're not done. Now we're looking for the perimeter. So remember, our perimeter is going to equal double the length. So that's going to be 2 times my 4 meters plus double the width. And I just found that was 12 meters, right? So that's going to be 8 meters plus 24 meters. That equals 32 meters.